American Graffiti. Two album set, 95 cents. This next one I got because I just love the graphics. It is Johnny Mandel. And of course, Alice Cooper had to buy this one. Probably, I'm going to keep this one though. Sorry. <laughs> I got Neil Diamond and I got two of these of the exact same album. There is some wear here and wear on the back where there's some ripping. So of course that will deplenish some of the value, which again, which would, why you would want to do a lot. Another Neil Diamond. And then Neil Diamond's where they've made their own casings, which apparently I guess that they probably got destroyed or they ripped. This is also Neil Diamond. Do it. Stones. Obviously this was a collector of Neil Diamond. BLTTS. For 15 albums, for $15, I should make somewhere upwards of $60 to $80 on all of those. Next up, soap dishes. Soap dishes, grab soap dishes, cast iron soap dishes. It's very popular for antique soap dishes to be bought on eBay, anywhere. Cast iron. Look them up. They go anywhere between 50 and 150 bucks. Soap dishes are great. Cast iron's great. But don't forget, Lucite. Lucite is an old plastic and they used to dry flowers and use dried flowers as decoration. Well, they would put this in the Lucite and they would make soap dishes. And you can see the dried flowers inside. But you see that tinted yellow? That's how you know it's Lucite. Got it for 69 cents and I sell them anywhere between $8.99 and probably about $14.99. Next up, old school retro primitive wooden items. Men love this for their man caves. This one's dirty. Of course the mirror is dirty, but I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna get all that off. See how nice it looks and then post the pictures. But here is a Packard 48 Coupe. Old school car. You have a nice backing. Be great next to a pool table. <laughs> this, it's very awesome how they detailed each piece. Even these are metal. The ribbed bars on each side. It's just a really great decorative piece. And then you can even hang it with the hanger on the back. It even has the hanger. I got this for $3.97. And I'm looking to get anywhere between $24.99 and $45.99 for it. For my salt and pepper shaker lovers, and Easter's coming up, we have a basket of bunnies. Little salt and pepper shaker bunnies. I got them for $1.97. Comes with the basket. No chips or cracks. Very nicely made ceramic and these I would definitely put probably around $12.99 off season and when it's on season $24.99 for sure. For $5 I got this gorgeous wardrobe hanger for your dresses and then all you do is fold it and you have a purse that holds your fancy party attire. For $5 I still haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep it or not. Cause I, it, it's so beautiful. But not only that, but the inside pattern. Look at that. It is waterproof. The zipper is, looks to be brass. It looks very well kept. And then, when you have your outfit in it, you can bend it and have a purse. So this, 
I got for five dollars. I am sure if I don't keep it, this will definitely sell for anywhere between forty-five and eighty-five dollars. Dishes. T and V. Remember T and V. I'll pop up the name here and but this Tresemane's in Vogue blue and orange floral pattern. And then on the back you have the signature. Limoges means it's older. TNV, the green. You want to look for green stamps, marks. This is higher quality and older. I have five salad plates that I got for 69 cents a piece. Each one of these are worth $7 plus shipping for just one. That's a huge profit on 69 cents. The dinner plates run a minimum at $10 a plate and I got those for 85 cents. This is a set of Homer Laughlin sugar and creamer. And you can see the fade from the pink to the white down to the pink. You'll see some crazing. And it's all dependent on the customer if they prefer crazing or not. Um, to me, it's just another, it is just another statement of what they've gone through and their character. So really for me, a buyer's opinion and a seller's opinion on crazing is just that an opinion so keep that in mind and always put everything in your listing next up is a lamp check this out this is a mid-century modern bust with that beautiful olive green maybe even a tone of army green and then it even has the draw switch always check this to make sure it's not stuck and you don't have to do extra work but this item it worked great you can sell this without the shade from anywhere between 45 and 65 dollars this one came with this shade which i don't believe is the original shade fiberglass shades that's what i would put on this a fiberglass shade fiberglass shades if you find those can run anywhere between 50 dollars and up also don't forget finials the little topper to your lamps. You can sell those individually from anywhere between $7 all the way up to $80 just for a finial, vintage finials, any kind of finial. Keep that in mind, a finial is the very tip top screw on little knob they put on top of lamps. Who would have thought? As you can see here, check out that cord. That's how you can tell that it's a vintage item, mid-century. Pay attention to those cords, but be careful when you plug them in though. Thermos, don't just pass by this thermos. This is a 1970s thermos. It even says thermos on the top. Pay attention to that brand. And always check inside. I'm not saying buy dirty ones, <laughs> but this one has never been used. Check it out, it has a patent on the bottom. Never been used. These are going for $24.99 online. And I got it for $2. Matching cup. It also falls in line with lunch boxes. Check those out. We'll get there though. But for now, thermos. Keep your eyes out. Last but not least is the fairy lamp. So for $3, I got this adorable fairy lamp, Westmoreland, hand-painted daisies. I love that it's yellow. It has a satin glass shade, the tea light carrier inside, and then it is signed with a W on the bottom. <laughs> and this fairy lamp is going for $15 plus $13 shipping for just a little fairy lamp tea light holder for three dollars we interrupt this program for a special news bullet breaking news creative uniques just acquired an almost hundred year old quilt the wedding ring quilt this item can run 250 minimum creative uniques is getting it appraised details coming soon
We now return to your regular programming. These are just a little bit of tips and tricks that you can find for just a little bit of money and be able to build your way up to buy the bigger things. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff, and I'll check you later.